يا اسالوا اسالوا كل اللي انتم عايزينه I can, and I can, I can even write them. So, تمام. صح يا يوسف. Very good. أنا لغاية دلوقتي كتبت عندي السؤال الأولاني هو إيه معنى هو البيك؟ السؤال الثاني كتبت عندي هو إيه الفرق بينه وبين الـ VP Map؟ أوكي؟ أنا بتكلم معاكم بالعربي ولسه هترجم بعد كده وكتبت عندي هو بس للغة ولا لحاجة تانية؟ لو في أسئلة تانية قولوا وهنمشي واحدة واحدة مع بعض. Yeah, another question is like, is, uh, does the peak is more advanced than the VP map? Okay. 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 Oh, I think I muted. Oh, okay. Um, are the, uh, is everybody attending going to be familiar with the VP map and the, they have centers? What's kind of the typical, or does it vary? Yeah, okay, uh, like um, some of the people here, they are uh, working in the field and some are parents. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Dr. Josh, you to work with VP Map, and if you have a place where you work with VP Map, if you have a place where you work with VP Map, if you have a place where you work with VP Map, if you have a Excuse me, I have a question there. Yeah, sure. Do you hear me? Yes. Yeah. If you please, these days we have a lot of assessments we can run. Uh, these some parts of this assessment we call it like uh, ABLES, VBMAB, uh, and different other assessments there. My question is, which one is the best for autistic children? Which one we can use it? It's just can I use one or I have to use mix of all of these assessments? Okay. So, and it just and we can use peak just only for autistic children with or with other disability you know this is the other gotcha. question there. thank you very much i, I will translate okay. the question okay uh, okay العضوه بتسال معانا بتقول هو شايفه دلوقتي ان في تقييمات كتير قوي موجوده وفي حاجات كتيره جدا من ضمنها الابلز من ضمنها البي بي ماب حاجات كتير قوي والبيك احنا مش قادرين نعرف هو ايه احسن حاجه هو ايه الحاجه اللي احنا نقدر نستخدمها مع الاولاد اللي عندهم اوتيزم او عندهم اي ديفلوبمنتال ديسابيلتي او اعاقه طب احنا نحدد ازاي طب هل نستخدمهم كلهم هل نستخدم حاجات معينه منهم ولا لا ده كان سؤالها اوكي يا بليز دكتور جورج اور سو وات اول دو ليت مي سي اول ذس what to kind of answer that i'll pull up a quick i have a slide actually that has common curricular options and i will show um these let's see let's try this see if i can do it share boom okay so these are most of the common curricular options that are currently available in a commercial form And um, I'm guessing this far right side is where you guys are probably most familiar with because it's the most, um, I think, most popular, the ABLES and the VB Map. Does that, does that jive make sense? Yes, perfect, yeah. دكتور كل دول الاسسمنتس او التقييمات اللي متواجده في السوق و يعني معظم المراكز بتستخدمها وهو شايف ان متهيألي هو اكتر واحد انتم متعودين عليه او واخدين على شكله او بتستخدموه هو البي بي ماب اكتر واحد من الحاجات اللي كانت معروضه في الصوره دلوقتي. And um, the ABLES and the VB Map are both developed by 
practitioners based on their long history and extensive history of treating uh, children with autism. الابلز والبي بي ماب هم اتعملوا من ناس ممارسين اعتمادهم كله على شغلهم على الاولاد اللي عندهم اوتيزم يبقى هم ديفلوبت او يعني عملوهم بيزد على الشغل بتاعهم اوكي however what they are missing from a science perspective first and that's going to be where i'm coming from as a scientist is an empirical basis an empirical test of their ability to provide treatment and outcomes. لكن هما بينقصهم حاجة واحدة من الناحية من الناحية العلمية أو من ناحية الساينتست من ناحية العلماء نفسهم إن هي إن هما مش مبنيين على empirical tests يعني اختبارات تجريبية. Okay, وحاجات مؤكدة, right? وليها زي validity and reliability, right? We are talking about validity and reliability. حاجات موثوق فيها وليها صلاحية. Okay. And uh, not only those two, but also outcomes. So there's no um, study that's looked at uh, if you follow this assessment, this is the outcome of a child. It's, um, so there's not outcome studies on them. ما فيش دراسات اتعملت بتبين النتائج لما عملنا مثلا البي بي ماب استخدمناها والابلز استخدمناها طب ايه النتائج بتاعه الاطفال بعد ما طبقنا معاهم البي بي ماب طب ايه النتائج بعد ما طبقنا معاهم الابلز ما فيش دراسات اتعملت على حاجه زي كده and there's two reasons for that um, the first is that they are not curricular materials as a matter of fact even though they're often used as such so their purpose is just to do to assess. Well, سبب في كده إن هو في سببين. أول حاجة إن هو بيبقى هما مش معتمدين على منهج. Okay. وده هما already هما معمولين بس عشان يكونوا assessment مش منهج. Okay. وده الغرض أصلاً من هما معمولين. And so it'd be kind of like if you said I've got this type of thermometer or this type of thermometer. And I were to ask, well, which one is better for the flu? Um, and the answer is neither treat the flu. They're both assessing some sort of a, of a symptom of it. Dr. Josh قال لمثال لطيف جدا هو بالظبط زي ما انت ايه واحد عنده برد وانت جايب اثنين ميزان حرارة وبتقول مثلا هنعالج ازاي؟ طب ما هو مش هيعالج هو هيقيس بس درجة الحرارة لكن هو مش هيعالج. فهو اللي عايز يقوله بالنسبه للابلز والفي بي ماب هم كده هم مش بيعالجوا اتس نوت تريتمنت اوكي سو واتس ام تو ات بي ويرد تو هاف اوت كم ستاديز فور ذات وات ازنت ام هابنينج انفورتشنتلي از اور اي جيس وات از هابنينج بيبل ار اوفتن يوزينج ذا اسسمنت اند تيتشينج دايركتلي تو ذا سكيلز ان ذا اسسمنت ام اللي بيحصل طبعا في الابلز وفي البي بي ماب وفي الحاجات اللي احنا عارفينها ان هم بيستخدموا التقييم وبعد كده بياخدوا مثلا بند من البنود بتاعه التقييم ويبتدوا يعلموا تعليم مباشر اوكي زي اللي احنا متعودين عليه كلنا يعني and so what that will do is it will raise scores on the assessment but the assessment's just a snapshot of a, of a person's uh, ability and so if you just raise those scores, you might leave gaps and what we call splinters, um, which is, is problematic for the child or, or the adult. هو اللي بيحصل هنا ان انت لما بتعمل الدايركت اسسمنت او التقييم المباشر بالطريقه اللي احنا عارفينها في البي بي ماب والحاجات دي اه انت ممكن تلاقي في حاجات الطفل قدر يعملها ووصل لها بس الحاجات اللي انت هتلاقيها هتلاقيها حاجات ايه بالظبط كده هي متنطوره يعني ممكن تلاقي مثلا بيقدر يعمل حاجات في في السن الصغير سنه ونص حاجات ثانيه اربع سنين مثلا يعرف يعملها لكن الحاجات اللي في النص دي ثلاث سنين وسنتين ونص واوائل مثلا اربع سنين او تفر مش عارف يعمله ففي جابس كتير so when I'm asked, is one better than the other? My answer generally is they're, they're different purposes. Um, PEAK, which is what we use at my center and my school, um, has an assessment as well as then it has a curriculum. So from my perspective, PEAK 
uh, encompasses all of it. Um, you could test and assess with the VE map and the ABLES as well and just get more data on progress uh, and that would be okay. دكتور جورج بيقول ان هو في ال في السنترز بتاعته في الاورجنايزيشن وكده هو اوريدي بيستخدم البيك وهو يعني من وجهه نظره كمان ان هي يعني اتس حاجه فيري كومبريهنسيف يعني مليئه بالجنود الكتيره وبالمودلز الكتيره اللي هم يقدروا ان احنا نستخدمها وفي نفس الوقت بيقول ان انت حتى لو هتستخدم الفي بي ماب والابلز انت ممكن هتستخدم يعني هتستخدم حاجات معينه فيهم ولكن انت هتزود علشان تقدر توصل للحاجه الكومبريهنسيف اللي موجوده في البيك And my BCBAs are trained in actually all, all of them because there's value, I think, in each, uh, at least in, in being familiar with. But if you were only to pick one, I would recommend the peak for three reasons. Um, the first is that it has an assessment and a curriculum, so it guides you with what to do. Um, the second is that it's got the most uh, research base for all of it. And then the third is it goes all the way up to age 18 plus, whereas the others, um, their developmental milestones are, are at much, much lower, four years old for the baby map uh, and, and whatnot. ولكن لو هيخيروني استخدم مين فيهم انا هستخدم البيك ليه هستخدم البيك علشان ثلاث اسباب السبب الاولاني ان هي مش بس تقييم ده هي لا تقييم وكمان منهج يعني فيها اهداف معينه نقدر ان احنا نشتغل عليها دي حاجه حاجه تانية ان هي معتمده على الريسيرش والابحاث العلميه يعني هي عليها ستاديز كتير قوي ثبت ان هي مثبته يعني مثبته علميا نمرة ثلاثة كمان إن هي أنت بتقدر تعمل أساسمنت تقيم وفيها أهداف لغاية سن 18 سنة فمش بس زي الـ VP Map سن أربع سنين أو الـ ABLES I think خمس سنين فأنت عندك لغاية 18 سنة و18 سنة ده أنت بتتكلم على حاجات محتاج إن الإنسان يعرفها ليها علاقة بالحاجات مور أدفانس يعني حاجات تطورية جدا سبيشلي وأنا كنت بتقول لك من فضلك من فضلكم يا جماعة بليز بس الصوت ميوت المايك So I think Mustafa asked, uh, as a BCBA, which would you start with? Chat, is that about right? Okay, so BCBA is true. Uh, he's asking if you are a BCBA, uh, what's the decision that makes the BCBA choose which one to start with? Okay, yeah. So with a child, uh, yeah, saying with a child. I'll actually, I forgot to answer one question. Someone asked, does it uh, need to be only autism? And no, anybody that's missing these skills, it would be helpful. Uh, That's all I say that for, yeah. Then I'll dive into this next question. Yeah, uh, Dr. Josh Buell, it's not only for autism, the whole not just for autism. Okay, so then the one to start with, if, again, if you're only going to do one, I would say PEAK because PEAK covers the same things that ABLES and BB Map does, and then it continues on beyond. So um, a lot of what I do is I work with clinics that are converting over from one to the other. There's not a lot of value in programming from like all three of them. Just a second, I'm just checking who's on my Fatih, please, making a Fatih, the mic back, it's not mute. I'm trying to remove. Walid, come in. Walid, you can do mute the mic, please. Do it on summit.
اوكي انا عملته خلاص ميوت اوكي دون يا اوكي هو دكتور جوش قال حاجه ان احنا ان الجزء اللي خاص في الفي بي ماب والجزء اللي خاص في الابلز Uh, انت اوريدي زي ما قلنا قبل كده انت اوريدي بت... موجودين اوريدي في البيك بس البيك الميزه فيه ان هو مكمل حاجات ثانيه مش موجوده في الفي بي ماب ومش موجوده في الابلز وفي اورجنايزيشنز كتيره موجوده في امريكا دكتور جوس ساعدهم على ان هم ازاي ينتقلوا من الجزء الخاص بس بالفي بي ماب والابلز الى ان هم يستخدموا البيك كمان How do you start programming after the pre-assessment and indirect assessment? I remember there was a sequence for using the models, but don't remember which exactly. Uh, okay, this is a very good question, but let's take it step by step, I think, right? right. Yes. Let's get to that question, but probably not right now. Yeah, exactly. So, we are going to answer the question, but let's go to the difference. We talked about the difference between uh, the peak and the VP map and the ABLES, okay? And, uh, There's one question. It, is it only for language? The question is, is it only for language? Or for other things as So it's for language and cognition. So speaking and thinking. Okay. It's for language and for the understanding. The word understanding means that you think. You think and think. So you can understand the first word. You need to think first. Think first. فدي حاجه مهمه اتس نوت اونلي بس لانجويج اوكي مش بس فقط للغه واحنا لما بنتكلم على ثينكينج دكتور جوش وين وي ار توكينج اباوت ثينكينج وي ار توكينج اباوت لايك هاو تو بروبلم سولف هاو تو ثينك لوجيك هاو تو لايك ميك ريزنينج فور ثينجز رايت يس اكزاكتلي اوكي يا yeah. لما احنا بنتكلم على موضوع ثينكينج او بنفكر يعني احنا بنتكلم يعني ازاي الطفل ممكن يحل مشكله ازاي الطفل ممكن ان هو يفكر هو انا ليه انا بعمل كده او ليه الانسان اللي قدامي بيعمل كده او ايه المنطق ورا حاجه زي كده كل الحاجات دي موجوده في البيك انذر كويستشن از يا سوشيال سكيلز وي انسر ذا دوز بيك از مور ادفانس ذان ذا بي بي ماب وي اوريدي انسر ذس وان We answered it's only it's not only for language. We answered uh, what's the difference between uh, peak and VP map? You already answered this, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. D uh, do you want to highlight a little bit about what is peak, or we can do it uh, while we are uh, taking more questions? Sure. I could also uh, answer the social. People keep asking about social skills. Um, it doesn't directly address them per se, although it does think there are some components like turn taking and all, um, but it addresses thinking, problem solving and language, which are very integral to social skills. So I don't know that somebody, if they mastered every, all the, all the skills would necessarily then be socially skillful, but it would be, a, I think a foundation towards that. I, we use other curriculum to build out those repertoires as well. دكتور جوش بيقول هو في البيك مش بت ما فيش مثلا اهداف معينه انت بتقدر تستخدمها علشان تعلم المهارات الاجتماعيه ولكن لو انت عندك شخص قدرت ان انت توصل معاه بحاجات كتير قوي علمتها له في البيك من خلال زي ما اتكلمنا المنطق والحاجات اللي علاقه بالادراك والكلام ده كله ممكن ان هي تكون بعد كده بدايه ان هو يقدر ان هو يبقى عنده مهارات اجتماعيه وحاجه ثانيه كمان قالها ان هي ان في حاجات في البيك ليها علاقه علاقه شويه بالسوشيال سكيلز بس حاجات بسيطه قوي زي مثلا تيرن تيكنج ان انت ازاي تقدر تاخد دور نخلي الطفل ياخد الدور ان هو زي يشارك بلعبه بيلعب بيها يديها لحد او يستاذن في دوره الحاجات دي موجوده فيه اوكي okay. بس ليميتد يعني محدوده All right and then oh this is a good question that I see a lot What about if I don't do DT work at the table, DTT work at the table, and it's not good for 10 block trials? Um, today, I was just working with a kiddo that we, and I actually have, um, where I'm building um, a board game that will target some of it. So we've got things like, so for instance, think of Peak as a framework, We can plug in and use it in a variety of ways. It doesn't have to be all table work. Yeah. 
هو دكتور جورج بيقول انت دايما فكر في البيك على ان هي انت مش ضروري انت تستخدمها على الترابيزه او تعمل تشتغل على الترابيزه لا انت ممكن تشتغل في اي مكان تاني وفكر فيها ان هو كلمه فريم ورك يعني اطار اطار عمل يعني انت تقدر تدخل فيه حاجات كتيره قوي وانت بتشتغل او ذا واي الطريقه اللي انت بتشتغل بيها يعني. So you can do things, uh, for instance, one of the targets I was working on today was um, tacting numbers. So identifying um, a number and saying it, and, um, and or the reverse of a receptive idea of numbers. And so we, we do table work on that, but we also then go around the building and do treasure hunts. So how many fives can you find? And then they go find them, we count and they get, uh, So they get little cards for each one, and then that turns into, um, then they get to open the treasure chest, and it's got all this stuff, and they love that. So we, we turn it into sort of games, even though it's a same skill, um, that we kind of start at the table, and then take it away from the table too. يعني لو احنا عندنا هدف دلوقتي ان الطفل يسمي النمبرز الارقام Uh, وده سي هدف موجود في الاهداف بتاعته فانت حتى لو انت هتشتغل عليه على التيبلز او مش ضروري تشتغل عليه على التيبلز انت ممكن تعملها بعد كده في شكل جيم او لعبه uh, زي اللعبه بتاعت التريجر هانت ان انت زي لما بيحاول يدور في الاوضه او في مكان معين هو فين البوكس ويفضل يمشي في اماكن معينه لغايه لما يلاقي البوكس وبعد كده يفتح البوكس وبعد كده يحاول يطلع مثلا خمسه ايتمز من جوه او اربعه لتس جيت 1 2 3 وتبتدي تبقى في شكل مور uh, بطريقه طبيعيه مور ناتشرال رايت Oh, that's, that's our NET kind of Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but same, but we still target the same things. هي more natural او كل حاجه في طريقه بطريقه طبيعيه وفي الحياه الطبيعيه لكن انت عندك تارجت معين او هدف معين انت بتشتغل عليه وعايز توصل له فانت بتستخدم سواء بتستخدم الديسكريت ديسكريت ترايل تريننج محاولات المنفصله او بتستخدمها بتستخدم التعلم في الحياه الطبيعيه اللي هو الان اي تي بس هو هدف واحد موجود عندك في البيك وانت بتشتغل معاه. بتشتغل عليه. Okay, uh, let's take more about, okay. في حد عنده أي أسئلة يا جماعة تاني عن البيك بتفكروا في أسئلة معينة؟ anything في البيك؟ so how do you transition? Okay. let me okay let me uh, so how do you transition from ABLES and VPMAP to uh, peak? okay the way you're okay ال يا yeah, في سؤال هنا ازاي ان احنا نقدر uh, ننتقل من استخدام الابلز او استخدام البي بي ماب الى البيك ازاي نعملها ازاي So yeah we've got a crosswalk of VB map skills that map into the like direct module so often what we can do we have two options you can reassess it's not that the assessment takes maybe 20 minutes if you know the kid um, but if you didn't want to do that we, we can bring over basically all the VBMAP uh, programs that you're currently working on and say here's the peak version of that program and you can go from there. The caution and what we've run into a little bit when transitioning is sometimes they don't go in, they're not in the same scope and sequence. So sometimes you might have, for instance, filled up level one on the VBMAP and there might be some missing peak components. So we, we always, as we're making that transition, We do a full assessment at some point in the process to make sure we didn't miss any. But largely, it can, it's as kind of as easy. The easiest way is just to bring them over and, and continue working, same targets, but through the peak frame, and then move through that way. And then you're going to add the other modules. Yeah. So it, is it more easier to, um, to continue from where he stands in the VP map or to put the VP map aside and start Uh, from the peak because there are some things which is not uh, according to the norms and the age they are different what i, I think my recommendation if, if people do exactly what i say because sometimes there's practical reasons to do one or the other but if, if there weren't any of those i would say what i would do is 
go ahead and continue with your programming, but shift your current targets to the peak programs so your staff and everybody gets used to that system. As you're doing that and you start mastering those, run a reassessment in about a month or so, and it'll find any potential gaps. You can add those in and catch it up. That's kind of the fastest way to get off the ground. Um, you're also gonna wanna run a generalization assessment and your equivalents because the VB map generally doesn't have much in that space. So it kind of comports with the direct. And then, and you run with that, keep doing that. But then now you start adding the others and that's what gets you kind of robust growth. هو دكتور جورج بيقول ان انت ممكن تفضل تكمل ال انت لو انت عملت اسسمنت سي على الفي بي ماب وانت اوريدي بتشتغل على الاهداف اللي انت ابتديت تشتغل عليها بعد ما عملت الفي بي ماب فانت ممكن ساعتها بعد بعد كده تقدر تبتدي تاخد اهداف معينه من البيك تبتدي تشتغل عليها لغاية لما بالتدريج الستاف بتاعك اللي انت بتعلمه لان انت خلاص دلوقتي دي حاجة جديدة بتدي تدخل على الستاف بتاعك فمحتاج انه يتعلمه شوية, شوية فعلشان انت ما تنقلش او تعمل شيفت فجأة من البي بي ماب مثلا البيك وتدي تلغبط الدنيا كلها وتلغبط الستاف والولاد فانت يعني بالتدريج هتبتدي تاخد الابجكتفز اللي هو المفروض يبتدي يشتغل عليها من الدايركت موديل اللي موجود وبيقول كمان ان انت محتاج تبتدي تدخل اهداف من الجنراليزيشن والاكويفالنس اللي موجوده لان احنا زي ما قلنا الحاجات دي مش موجوده في الفي بي ماب وممكن حاجه كمان برضو ان انت تعمل زي ري اسسمنت سريعه قوي مش هتاخد غير 20 دقيقه لو انت عايز تبتدي وتشتغل بالبيك بعد الفي بي ماب اوكي Uh, Dr. Josh, there is a question here, like he said that I know that uh, the peak is based on relations. So like, um, how, how is the relations or how, can you give example or how can we do a relation or how the, can the child uh, derive a relation? How is that happening? I think here we can talk about the stimulus equivalents, right? Yeah, I can give you, let's see if I can do this in a way that works for, uh, with translation. So. I'm going to give it a go. أنا سألته سؤال بتاع أستاذ يوسف مفهوم العلاقات في البيك. Okay. So first off, I like to say the direct and generalization modules. Those first two, they're direct training uh, and, and then generalization. So there's not a lot of relational things. It's the latter two where that shows up. So that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to على فكرة هم إحنا عندنا في البيك هم four uh, modules. Okay. الدايركت والجنراليزيشن والاكويفالنس والترانسفورميشن اول اثنين الدايركت والجنراليزيشن ما فيهمش اكويفالنس اوكي ايه اللي فيهم الاثنين الثانيين الاكويفالنس والترانسفورميشن وهم دول دايما يا جماعه اللي بيبقوا شويه تشالنجينج بيبقوا عايزين شغل اكتر ومجهود اكتر وفهم اكتر حتى من الستاف اللي هو بيشتغل قبل الاولاد كمان يعني. So um, the, the deal about equivalence I'll, I'll briefly go over the idea is that um, we all, most folks have the ability to see something and match it to the same thing. So here you see uh, two things and you match them. So you would be able to, given this, put this on top of it and get that. انت دلوقتي شايف صورة انت وانت حاطط قدام الطفل صورة طماطم زي كده. وانت بتدي له صورة تانية في ايديه وهو هيبقى سهل عليه جدا ان هو تو ماتش. الموضوع بسيط قوي. And then if I were then to tell you um, that this was a, a clarter and I showed you this. So I directly trained that. So when I say clarter, you would touch that. This is a teaching, right? Training. Yep. Still training. direct training. And we give you reinforcement after each time. Yeah. Then when I showed you this, you would be able to say clarter. بعد كده بعد ما انت اتعلمت ان انت لما تشوف التوميتو تشوف كلارتر هتقول توميتو دلوقتي انت لما شفت التوميتو لوحدك من غير تدريب هتختار كلارتر and most people think of course because that seems really apparent it's not strange um, because we have a full language repertoire however that's not the case with a lot of the kids that we work with 
آه في ناس ممكن تعتقد ان ده محتاج حد يبقى عنده بقى كم من اللغه كبير قوي عشان يقدر يعني يفهم الكلام ده لا الكلام ده مش مظبوط and so part of what we want to do is train them how to do that relating and we do that with multiple examples of like this الفكره هنا ان انت عايز تعلمه ازاي ان هو يقدر يعرف يعمل الربط ده ويقدر ان هو بعد ما علمته علاقات معينه هو يقدر يستنتج او يعمل علاقه لوحده من غير تدريب without teaching okay and then i could also show you that these letters are clarity and so again that direct training you would then be able to see I would have, I trained you the word to the item, the word and the sound of the word. Yeah. How uh, Okay, I will explain this one to them. How are you? انت هتعلم ايه وانت بتعلم. Okay, في فرق بصوا يا جماعه عشان الموضوع يبقى بسيط. في فرق ما بين انت بتعلم your your teaching or your training وان انت عايزه هو يستنتج لوحده. انت هتعلمه او تدربه على ايه؟ C word and match. هو هيشوف الكلمه وهيعمل لها matching. وبعد كده هيشوف الكلمه C word and say it وهيقولها. بعد كده بقى العلاقة اللي هي هتستنتج أو the derived relation and then for free untrained you will get all of these so one two three four five six seven eight yeah all of these are untrained right are untrained so that would be free learning yeah فأنت بعد ما علمته يعني you teach him ريليشنز معينه هو هيقدر بعد كده لوحده يقدر من غير تدريب يستنتج كل العلاقات دي يعني حتى مش علاقه واحده لا اكتر من علاقه 6 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ريليشنز and that's great so what that is let's see if we get to here same game and we train each little bit and we get it this is what's called equivalence and is what the third module it teaches that skill uh, okay can i i tell them about this part right uh, reflexive yeah, yeah yeah okay بصوا هقول لكم على حاجه في الحته دي مثلا خلينا ناخد مثال لو احنا افترضنا في حته ايه كل ايه لو احنا افترضنا مثلا دي صوره عربيه اوكي ودي وانت جبت له زي ما الدكتور جوش حط الطماطم على الطماطم دي طماطم مثلا ودي طماطم وبعد كده انت بتبتدي تدربه ان A ايكوال B يعني انت دربته مثلا على ايه؟ ان الطماطم دي صوره الطماطم هي اسمها طماطم B اوكي؟ فبعد كده هو قدر يستنتج لوحده ان الاسم الطماطم دي هي الصوره بتاعت الطماطم اوكي؟ بعد كده السي هنا هي الكلمه المكتوبه بتاعت الطماطم يبقى هنا لما شاف الصوره قدر ان هو يس... قدر ان هو يستنتج ان دي الكلمه المكتوبه لو انت دربته ان A ايكوال B ودربته ان B ايكوال C هو هيستنتج لوحده ان A ايكوال C تاني لو انت دربته على ان صوره الطماطم دي هي بتساوي الكلمه المنطوقه طماطم ودربته على ان الكلمه المنطوقه طماطم دي هي الكلمه المكتوبه طماطم هو لوحده هيقدر ان هو يستنتج لوحده من غير تدريب ان صوره الطماطم ايكوال سو ايكوال الكلمه المكتوبه طماطم يا yeah. I, I explained it like the spoken and the picture and the, the written word with the tomato uh, example that you provided. Yeah. And another one, if you were to do, um, if I taught you that grape equals a new, then you would then be able to know when I say what's a new, you'd say grape, and that's the symmetry. And then finally, I could insert, you would also know now grapes are sweet because you're you've tasted a new before so it brings all of that in that's that's the richness of language yeah how come in the model is best in the disorder with kilma on to our kilma maktuba la danta mokin come in with the missile and then the beta limo and the da in a will end up uh faka fanta uh the other the other tight is tempting a lot kitir a women model and end up will faka okay so the other thing is much of this to adults just seems natural and we see this start really young with with neurotypical children so we don't often this is not directly taught in uh, neurotypical development it just kind of feels like it shows up the module broke this down into we, we specifically teach how to do reflexivity how to do symmetry and how to do transitivity 
And when we get all three of those, that's where you get the relating. انت انت ممكن لما تشوفه كده يعني حتى لما الواحد بيشوف الحاجات دي لاول مره بيبتدي وحتى بيطبقها في الاساس يبتدي يلاقيها حاجه صعبه جدا ويقول ايه ده دي معقده جدا دكتور جوش بيقول على فكره يا جماعه الموضوع اصلا ده بيحصل بطريقه طبيعيه جدا في الاولاد اللي هي ما عندهاش اي دايجنوزيز وما عندهاش اي تشخيص وما عندهاش اي مشاكل في التعليم يعني في الموديل هو بيجزئها بالطريقه دي عشان احنا نقدر نعلمها للاولاد ونقدر نخليهم ازاي يتعلموا الايكويفالنس ريليشنز والترانسفورميشن والحاجات دي. Let's see, I'm gonna skip to. Oh, you have Arabic letters. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to. Um... We don't need to really dive into the details of that. Yeah. Yes. What I want to talk about is maybe I think there is. Uh, what do you think about uh, the one the graph that has the the IQ? It's increased uh, after they make uh, some of the, some kids the, after they receive like the peak uh, assessment or and trainings. Their IQ increased, something like that. I think. Well, there. Okay, I think there's two things. There's um, there is a correlation of peak with IQ which suggests that peak maps onto IQ levels. So if somebody has this score on peak, they have that high score on IQ. So that's sort of a validity component. I think what you're talking about is, it, it's not peak, but it's relational framing, that there's a, there's a group in, in Europe that created a, a brain game that's teaching um, framing. And they found that when they did that, the IQs bumped up by a standard deviation, which suggests teaching framing through peak will do the same thing. I don't think peak's been specifically, I don't think that's been examined specifically yet with peak. Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. And the brain gaming, it's more into relational. Uh... Yeah, it's RFT. So it's equivalence, it's the next step after equivalence. Yeah, okay, yeah. أنا كنت بسأل دكتور جوش إن في لايك ممكن يكون إن أطفال معينة لما استخدمنا معاهم البيك الأي كيو بتاعهم أو المستوى الذكاء بتاعهم عالي فدكتور جوش بيقول إن في سام سورت أو نوع من أنواع الجيمز اللي علاقة بالمخ يعني إن هما لما لعبوا الجيمز دي ابتدوا يلاقوا إن الأي كيو بتاعهم عالي قوي فابتدينا نعرف من هنا إن ال... إن إن لما بنتعلم العلاقات دي ممكن بعد كده يسهل أو يزود في الأي كيو أو كانت بداية إن إحنا نقدر نتعلم الـ الـ Derived Relations أو الاستنتاج بتاع العلاقة. So what the assessment, um, there's, there's the relational pre-assessment and then um, the regular assessment. You run those and you build your curriculum from them, run the protocols, you collect your data and just maintain. That's the progress of peak equivalence module. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about, well, let me, here's what one looks like, just so you can kind of see. You would, you direct train in the assessment. You say, this is the same as this, and that's reflexivity. So remember, there's the three levels. That's basically that you understand that two things that are the same are both the same both ways, which is kind of weird to think that some people don't have that repertoire, but that's the very basic. And sometimes you'll have kids that um, they don't get this. So we start, if they don't, we teach this first. Hannah, we're thinking that there are three relationships. Reflexivity, which is the word of the word. It's very easy to use the word of the word. It's very easy to use the word of the word. When you see the word of the word, it's the same as the other word, and you say match or topic, or put it with the word of the word, it's easy to use the word of the word. Because this is A equal A. It's the same as the word. If he's not able to know something like that, of course, we're using the procedures of the ABA, prompting, and the help, so we can learn something like that. بس دي أول حاجة خالص reflexivity A equal A and you also you'll note here that these are strange shapes and squiggles the reason that it's important to test with this kind of material is that you're not accidentally testing something that they learn directly so if we're bringing in like animals for instance they might know animals via some sort of direct they very unlikely that they'll ever have interacted with like these squiggles 
الفكره هنا ان انت عاوز هو ليه اشكال شكلها غريب كده واحنا اشكال مش متعودين عليها مش مثلا حاطين له حاجات موجوده في الحياه الطبيعيه بتاعتنا او هو بيشوفها لا هو الهدف مش كده الهدف ان احنا انت عايز تعرف هو اصلا عارف حاجه زي كده ولا لا انت دي حاجه جديده المفروض انها تبقى حاجه عمره ما شافها خالص قبل كده اوكي okay. لان دي علاقه هي اوريدي اتس اي ايكوال اي هي اوريدي علاقه المفروض ان هو يكون مستنتجها اوكي okay. And so then it, you ask them to find the same, they will. That's reflexivity. You do that a few times. If they've got that skill set, we teach, we move to, so if they can get all these right, you'll notice there's visual, then there's letters. Um, then we also do a delay. So we say it, we wait a second, and we say that it's the same or not, and then we test that. Um, we also do modality, so feeling sandpaper versus cotton. So hits all of those on that A equals A across all senses. Yeah, okay. So what's this part across senses? Here's the reflexivity, it goes with the... Um... So same thing, you, they feel the sandpaper like in a bag so they can't see it. And then they feel another bag and then they say whether it's the same or not. Yeah. And so this is testing the ability for reflexivity that A equals A visually, auditorily, Um, tactily, and there's also a gustatory where they taste it um, and they smell it. All we want to hit all of them. If there's a deficit, we want to know. Okay. So, for the the reflexivity or the ankasay, it's not just in the picture, like it was present, picture, marsuma, for example, or shape, or certain shape. It's only that there was a word that was اوكي okay. وبعد كده هو هيعمل لها كلمه ماتشنج ليها الكلمه حتى اللي كانت مكتوبه دي كلمه ملهاش اي معنى خالص آه وكان في كمان ان انت مش بس انت بتتست الكلمات او الصور او كده لا ده انت عايز تعمل تيستنج لكل الحواس يعني لو حاجه مثلا ممكن ان هو يستطعمها لو حاجه ممكن ان هو يلمسها وتشوف هو عارفها ولا لا زي الصوره اللي كانت موجوده لو حاجه رف حاجه خشنه وهو وحاجه زيها بالظبط محطوطه جواها هيقدر يعمل ماتشنج ليهم ولا لا So then, assuming that they have the reflexivity uh, skill set, then we move to the second level, symmetry. And this is basically, you take two different things and say that they're the same. So you're making them equivalent. This is the same as that. And now, if we have to say that the child is able to achieve reflexivity, هتبتدي بعد كده اللي هم كانوا زي بعض بالظبط هتبتدي دلوقتي تنقل على السيمتري تمام ازاي انت بتجيب ايتم تاني خالص وبتقول له ده زي ده يعني ده اتس ذا سيم زي ده I removed you, Farah. Let me remove the sword. Okay. Here in the symmetry, the idea here is the idea that we are, Dr. Josh, here we are teaching, right? Yes, we teach. Well, what we do is we teach here. We teach. Uh, we teach. This is the same as this. Here we test the flip up. Exactly. So here, as I said, the idea is if A equal B, then B equal A, right? And we teach that A equal B. زي ما كان في القلم محطوط فوق وبعد كده الشكل الغريب ده كان محطوط تحت بعد كده انت علمت A equal B عايز بقى تست عايز تختبر هل الطفل عرف ان B equal A ولا لا هنا بقى هتشوفه عرفها ولا لا And then we do that repeatedly through a number of shapes and again you'll notice we go shape to object number to object number to object then we sounds woof woof is one So we're just, again, kind of 
hitting all of the different modalities. Um, we also do uh, where we start to replace. So these nonsense phrases, and then we ask them to answer based on that. So we're just building up the complexity of the relations to test if they, where it breaks down, because that's where we're going to want to start teaching. بالظبط انت انت حتى هنا في السيمتري انت في الاول كنت شايف الموضوع كان بسيط ازاي والقلم مع الصوره والصوره مع القلم الموضوع بعد كده عمال بيبقى مور ادفانس متطور اكتر لان انت عمال بتستخدم كلمه موداليتيز يعني انت مثلا مره بتشوف حاجه بالكلمه مره بال مثلا بالملمس مره بالرؤيه بتاعه الكلمات اللي مكتوبه فانت عمال تعقد الموضوع علشان تحاول تشوف هو هيقدر يستنتج الاستنتاجات الثانيه دي ولا لا ف وشايفين كلها حاجات ما هو المفروض الطفل ما بيبقاش اكسبوز ليها ما بيبقاش اتعرض لها قبل كده So this tape is the same. We go through all that. Now let's say they get through symmetry and they have that skill set. Our next is looking at that third. And that third is if I teach A equals B and B equals C, you get a full derived A equals C. So no training whatsoever. So we start to play with that. These are the same as this. So you train A equals B, then you train B equals C, and then you test which A equals what, and they should be able to get to C. اوكي في الترانسيفيتي انت بنفس الحكايه هي المعادله بتاعتها انت بتعلم يو ار تيتشنج اي ايكوال بي وبعدين بي بتعلم ان بي ايكوال سي حاجه ثالثه خالص وبعد كده المفروض الطفل لوحده يستنتج ان اي ايكوال سي اللي هو زي هنا معلقه اي ثينك هير ذا سبونز وذ ذا ويتش وورد اف ار اي اي ثينك سبونز وور اي اي وذ ار يا بي يا equals C catch, so A equals C catch. Yeah. This would be A and C. Oh, I think I'm, uh, I did something, just a second. I muted, uh, what? Yeah, okay, I know, yeah, okay, thank you. I, I already I muted Lala just like uh, somebody was telling me to mute. Yeah, I'll mute Turaya. Thank you, Turaya. And then we just keep doing that through all again all of the various modalities: words, symbols, uh, numbers, then verbal. Then um, we start looking at grouping and test. Uh, so once we finish the transitivity, we taught that that happened. We then move on, transitivity leads to the equivalent, and this is that final, just making sure that that repertoire is intact. Most of our kids won't have this, so it will have broken down at some point, and that's where we'll then start to do our program. Yeah, Dr. Josh, I want to say, so we can achieve the equivalence, we have to achieve the three الثلاث علاقات دول يكونوا متواجدين اللي هو احنا اتكلمنا عليهم اللي هي ريفلكسيفيتي والسيمتري والترانزيتيفيتي ما ينفعش نقدر نقول ان احنا حققنا الايكويفالنس بحاجه واحده فيهم لا لازم الثلاثه يكونوا متواجدين مع بعض عشان نقدر نحقق حاجه زي كده. So I'm, I'm telling them that we in order to have equivalence we have to have uh, reflexivity and symmetry and uh, transitivity right? Yeah and so those foundations then build. Um, ده الاساس انا بعد كده هتقدر تبني عليه بعد كده. All right, and let's see, let's jump out of this really quick. Where did this start? Okay. So this is just like it goes through each of what the assessment is. Um, let me show you. So then that would lead you to something like this. This is the outcome of that pre assessment. It would identify for us where they started to break down. So this kid was pretty high on reflexivity, no, but you saw less symmetry, less transitivity, and, and hardly any equivalence. So then it would let us find which program to start at. And you can look at this on the right side um, to start training. Yeah. See, هنا شايفين الجراف يا جماعة اللي على الشمال تحت خالص ده هو ده السكورس بتاعت الطفل. لو انتم شايفين هتلاقوا ان هو في الريفلكسيفيتي جاب لايك 9 وبعد كده في السيمتري جاب 6 بعد كده في الترانزيتيفيتي جايب 5 اقل حاجه بعد كده الايكويفالنس قليله جدا 
باي 2 فبيزد على بناء على السكورز بتاعته هنا دي فانت هنا بتبتدي تعمل بروجرامينج بتبتدي تشوف البروجرام اللي انت هتشتغل عليه سو so, دكتور جوش فور اكزامبل هير اف وي هاف لايك هير وي كان سي ذات هي سكورز فور ذا ايكويفالنس 2 رايت Correct. So when we start programming or putting objectives, so we um, we we look at this side and the equivalence and we start bringing out objectives or how do well, we? Do you'd go from here and it would tell you where to start your full assessment program. So let's look at so the reflexivity is nine. So then you would start um, over the scores mm -hmm. one through eleven. Directly assess until five consecutive programs are scored at no. So you would jump there. If he had scored a 12, then you could just do an indirect assessment and you directly assess any question marks. And you would just do that until you uh, zero out for five consecutive programs. Let's see. Here's what one of the programs would look like. So if you teach somebody a phonetic blend or a digraph with its written version, they're able to do the reverse. If they can, you would say yes. If they can't, you would say no. Then you would just keep going down the, and this is that full assessment, and there's about 108. You go through each one. Once you get five no's, you stop, and that's their deficit. And so this would tell you then where to start your programming. So if, let's say they got all no's here, you would probably start teaching symmetry with phonetic blends and digraphs. And 6G has a program for that. Yeah. Okay. So how هنا دم زي مس على الassessment and أنت حت تبتدي تشتغل على assessment دي. فأنت سيء حت تبتدي مثلا عندك 6G H I J حت تبتدي تعمل حاجات دي كلها. لو أنت أو أنت بتشتغل لقيت إن في خمسة ورا بعض الطفل ما جابهاش أنت لازم بتوقف الassessment مش بتكملها وتبتدي تأخذ أهداف من دي وتبتدي تشتغل عليه. وهنا بتعمل scores yes or no. This معناها I think maybe the question mark here it means maybe right yeah I'm not if you're not sure you put a question mark if they scored um, a 12 you would directly assess any question marks but if you said yes to them you could skip through if they had a high score on the pre-assessment لو انت في حاجة مش عارفها او مش عارف زكاة صح ولا لا حاول ان انت تختبرها دايركتلي مباشرة اوكي مش ان انت مثلا تسال حد يعرف الطفل او حد بيعرف الطفل بقاله مده كبيره وعارف المهارات بتاعته والكلام ده لا لو انت حاجه شاكك فيها محتاج ان انت تستت وتختبرها بطريقه مباشره and then this is what a program would look like so reflexivity of 2b and what you do once you're in the equivalence module you have a train and then a test and so They have a cool little graphic. You train A to B, and you're going to test B to A. You put your targets, and this is where, especially for you guys, your culture, you're going to pick probably different things that are culturally relevant um, that may not be, you know, if you're in, in the U.S. versus Italy versus Jordan or Egypt or uh, Dubai or Costa Rica, all of those are going to have different stimuli that are relevant, um, like animals. I wouldn't talk about, uh, like camels might be in a Middle Eastern country and um, cows might be in um, America and um, tigers might be in, um, or lions might be in Africa. And so you would, you would customize the targets and those go in here, the stimuli A and B, oops, based on, on that culture. And you train, A to, now this is reflexivity, so A to B is going to actually, they're the same thing, and then you test, and so you make sure they get it. You score, um, these scores are really nice, 0 to 10 is the prompt level, so 10 is fully independent, so you can just score each trial, and um, when you get the, the test scores, you'll note here that on the training, that's this left one, you prompt through. On test, you give no feedback. So you just ask them to do it, and you say thanks, and you try it again. And what this is doing, the reason you do train tests, is you're giving multiple exemplars. You're training that reflexivity relation, and then seeing if they got it. Yep. So this X here means this is the train one, right? Or test? Uh, the yes, correct. This is training, right? Yeah, X here means training, okay. هو هنا هنا ده بيبقى شكل البروجرام بالطريقه بيبقى بالطريقه دي 
دكتور جوش بيقول الاهداف اللي انت بتحطها او السيستم اللي انت بتستخدمها مش ضروري تكون زي اللي هي مكتوبه دي دايما بتعتمد على الكالتشر بتاعتك او على البلد اللي انت عايش فيها والولد مثلا بيبقى متعرض لايه او بيشوف ايه يعني مثلا حتى احنا كنا مره بن لما كنا حاضرين التريننج قبل كده كانوا كانت الفكره بتاعه كان في صوره البولكينو فكنا شايفين ان البولكينو دي ما كانتش قوي تنفع في المجتمع بتاعنا في مصر لان احنا اوريدي ما عندناش بولكينو فقلنا ان احنا ممكن نحاول ان احنا نغيرها ونحط حاجه مور حاجه الطفل حاجه ممكن بيشوفها او بيتعرض لها هنا كمان دكتور جوش قال الكاملز الجمال اكتر ان انت بتشوفها في البلاد اللي هي في الميدل ايست في مصر لكن ممكن صعب ان انت تشوفها في في بلاد ثانيه في امريكا او كده فالاهداف دي او الستيميلي دي اللي انت عايز تشتغل عليها انت اتس فيري فلكسبل يعني انت بتبقى مرن فيها جدا جدا بعد كده يو ار تيستنج ات بيبقى في حاجتين هنا يو ار تريننج وهنا يو ار تيستنج يعني بص هنا دلوقتي يا ترين انت اول حاجه عايز بتعلم ان ايه ايكوال بي وبعد كده بتختبر اذا كانت uh, اذا كان بي ايكوال اي اللي هي هنا اوكي والارقام دي 10 و8 و2 و4 ده انت عامل سيركل هنا ليه؟ عامل سيركل علشان ده مستوى المساعده اللي انت بتساعد بيه الطفل اوكي؟ دكتور جوش از ات وين وي ار تيستنج وي شودنت هاف سم سورت اوف سكور اوف برومبتنج رايت؟ سو اتس ايذر اور زيرو رايت؟ يا سو اتس ايذر ايذر هي نوز اور هي دوزنت نو يا فهنا لما انت بتختبر بص هتلاقيه يا عارف يا ما عارفش فهي يا زيرو يا 10 اوكي لكن انت هنا وانت بتتدرب وبتعلم انت بتستخدم مساعدات مختلفه اوكي 2 و4 و8 ودي ليها لما تقروا الكتب وكده هتعرف ان 8 دي معناها ايه و4 معناها ايه و2 معناها ايه اي ثينك على حسب انا فاكره يعني اي ثينك دكتور جوش 8 مينز ذات يو ار يوزنج تو برومبتس or I think or more or and four you're using um, four prompts I'm not sure about it depends the- so this actually is very flexible part of this curriculum it's whatever you want your pro your center or your your caseload you can make it all sorts of things so for instance we've worked with people I think uh, Mark's group um, in the lab that's developed it they talk about kind of number of prompts like you were saying But we've also had people that normally do the, the gestural, verbal model, all that. You can use these same way. And so you can make this, uh, you know, Z, a two is a physical prompt, a four is a model prompt, an eight is a verbal prompt. So all that matters is that zero is most either incorrect or most prompt heavy, and 10 is fully independent. And we can fill it in with whatever. And, and each center I've worked with, they have their own thing they want to do. We just kind of tailor it to them. There's no need to, that part's not um, critical that you follow the same. What's critical is that you're standard every time you do it. So whether it's number of prompts or type of prompt, uh, that's all, all about it. And, and you want the 10 to be the least prompted, zero to be the most prompted. Yeah, that's great. And this is a very good thing about the peak also. It's um, very flexible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, Dr. Josh, you will have a lot of information about the prompting and the help. You will have في حاجتين انت ممكن تعتبر مثلا ان 8 دي او 4 او 2 انت اديت الطفل كام مساعده عشان يقدر يعمل الاستجابه الصح اوكي فعلى حسب عدد المساعدات اللي قدر الطفل ان هو يعمل بيها الاستجابه الصح فانت بتعمل سكورنج 8 او 4 او 2 وهي مكتوبه حتى في البيك بتفاصيل اكتر او مش ضروري تعمل كده انت ممكن تقول مثلا ان ال2 دي انت هتدي جاستر برومبت او اللي هي المساعده بالايماء 4 مثلا هتدي مثلا يعني موديل برومبت اوكي و8 هتبقى فيربل برومبت اللي هي المساعده اللفظيه المهم وال10 تبقى حاجه ده استجابه مستقله تماما و0 هو ما عرفش يعملها يا اما خطا يا اما ما عرفهاش فدي في مرونه جدا في موضوع البيك في الطريقه بتاعه المساعدات وانت بتسجلها فدي حاجه كويسه فهو مش بيلزمك ان انت تستخدم طريقه معينه في المساعدات لا اوكي okay. and merit asked which one is the mastery and it's the test so we want to we know that this reflexivity has been mastered when the test block hit, hits mastery not the train and the way this works is you master up a train because you directly trained it and your test should come online. If it doesn't, 
you add in another class and you add in another class. And that's what gets you all of these until you train up and the test shows up um, master. Uh, Dr. George, sorry, can you repeat this? Because I was reading something. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, somebody, Sally, uh, can you hear me, Sally? You're saying I cannot hear anything. Is it only Sally? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. 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 Okay, Yusuf, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, 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 I can hear you. So to answer that question though about the uh, the test lock, that's the, the mastery is, is on here. So if they don't master your test, um, or they don't get the test right after a direct train, you add another stimulus class and you keep doing that until they master. And once that happens, then we say reflexivity of this type is in their repertoire and then you go to the next program. Okay, so is this means that if they did not master, uh, we don't work on the same stimuli that we have, we add other stimulus, or are we st still working on one, two, and three, and then after master, we add more stimuli here? You would add another because we, let's see where, let me, let's talk master. about if we don't master, let me show you the procedure, yeah. and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so uh, let's say you don't master, you start with four classes and you master the training, but then the test doesn't show up. You pause two of your classes, so you simplify and try the train and test. If that doesn't work, you put all but one on, or you put the original four on hold, bring all four in and then do um, tests with feedback. So you're now training how the test works. Once those have hit mastery, you bring the original four back and see if testing happened, if they master that testing. And then if not, you go to the level four, this isolated class, all of them on hold but one, and you train that up. Um, that was a really broad overview, but does, does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Like, okay, let me, before I explain to them, I just want to make sure that I understand this part. So uh, you're trying to, you're saying that if uh, we are working on three stimuli and the child after testing still, he did not get it. So we introduce another stimuli and we put the first one on hold and we work on the new ones. And then we go back to the first one, right? Almost. The first step is you pause half of them. So you just simplify. If that doesn't work, that's when you bring in the new ones. And in the new ones, you give feedback during the test session. Because remember in the test session, originally no feedback. Exactly. So basically you're kind of turning a test session back into a direct train session. Once those are mastered, you bring the originals back to see if the test works. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to ask Dr. Josh, if you can talk about if you do testing and you're talking about it, and you see that the child is not aware of the things. If you're going to work, as we were going to do, for three stimuli, the idea is that you're going to do what? You're going to put a new stimuli and you're going to start to push the part of the first stimuli that the child doesn't know. So after that, after you start to push them and you're going to work with them, you're not going to work. مش هتدخلهم كلهم تاني بس هتاخد جزء منهم وتبسطهم مع الحاجات التانية الجديدة وان دين بعد كده تبتدي ترين تبتدي تدرب عليهم تاني وتبتدي بعد كده تعمل تاست This is I think الحاجة اللي انا related للجزئية دي يعني And to answer uh, Merit's question um, yeah. If you have your four classes and they all master the direct but no test uh, is emerging that's when I would now start to do level two, level three. So after how many uh, rounds of the programs do you decide to put classes in front? So uh, you were an answering this question, after how many runs of the program do you yeah. decide to put classes on hold? Okay, so you said like three classes? So let's say you've got stimulus class one, two, and three, and you've got your train, your direct train, and then your test, right? Yeah. Now, your first day of trying it, they're going to be at a zero because they don't know anything. And as you start reinforcing correct corresponding, hopefully this comes up to 100%, right? right? And this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. 
if this maintains at zero, so they never, the testing never emerges, after those three, maybe you do four, then I would go to level two. Yeah. So it's whenever they've mastered one, two, so those are mastery, and this doesn't happen. So this still gets you zeros here. Then I move to reduce class presentation. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it's clear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, we, I think we're good with the time, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what time is it. Yeah, it's two. Yeah. I still would think we still have some time. Okay. If, if you don't mind, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm here. Um, so that's equivalence, and that's kind of the, the overall part. Um, the next, there was a question earlier that someone said, basically, I think they were asking, when do you start equivalence? Yeah, equivalence. Um, and my rule of thumb, and I think it's the same as, as Mark's group, is if on your direct you're scoring about 30 on the direct assessment go ahead and start with your reflexivity um, the cool these modules are not linear they are concurrent so you you are doing direct and some generalization programs and some equivalence programs and eventually and some transformation so you're doing some programs from all of them um, rather than all direct then generalization then equivalence so the, the criteria here is that when, when the child um, scores 30 on the direct uh, model, we can start using the equivalence and the generalization, right? That's been what we've, we've experienced, and I believe that's what uh, Mark's group has, has said too, if I remember. But I know we found it 30 to 35. Now, there are some times where a kid might have a skill that allows the reflexivity to start, earlier than that 30, but just rule of thumb has been about 30 right now for us. في سؤال كان يتسأل امتى نقدر نستخدم الموديل بتاع الجنرالزيشن هو التعميم او الاكويفلنس اللي هو فدكتور جوش بيقول ان احسن حاجه ان انت لما تبتدي هتبتدي الاول بالدايركت اسسمنت اللي هو المباشر وبعد كده لما يبقى في سكور 30 او 35 تقدر بعد كده تستخدم الجنراليزيشن والتاني وده اللي قاله كمان دكتور مارك ديكسون اللي هو عامل البيك اسسمنت. And let me show you sort of how so here's one of our kids, um, all of their assessments are in, in one spot. So this kiddo has a total score of 45 um, on the direct. So we have for him direct, some generalization programs and some peak, uh, some equivalence programs. Yeah, perfect. هنا الشوكين 45 دي اكتر من 30 او اكتر من 35 فعشان كده قدرنا ان احنا نحط او نستخدم بعد كده الاكويفلنس والجنراليزيشن وفي اسسمنتس وفي اوبجيكتيفز خاصه بيهم. And then you can see that there are certain gaps that we're working on. He's actually mastered these. There's 17 more he mastered in the last couple of weeks so we got to add those. But um, so that's what we do is as, as we get, uh, where's the table? Table. As we get the table, as these start to fill up, then we see more movement in the other, other modules and we, and we kind of grow that up. And then he's a five to six year old. He's about a year to two years behind um, each of these factors. So the, uh, this, this is his, his actual age, yeah. five to six years, right? Or yes. Okay. And here's the dal and dal يا جماعة السن الطفل اللي هو معمول الأساس من دي وده السن بتاعه مبني على التقييم اللي معمول. Okay. When we say here minus fourteen, so dal, yeah, yeah, here means that he is supposed to score thirty four here, right? Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I have another. Let's see if I can find his other thing that we do. This is something um, we do is, this is where it is typically uh, 
developed peers would be on the right side. So he's 31% towards that. And then in each of these, it's a different percentage. Um, and so we use this to also kind of get an idea of how impacted um, they are. شايفين هنا يا جماعة الجراف ده في الجزء اللي أنا بشاور عليه ده المفروض الطفل اللي ما عندوش أي تشخيص المفروض يكون في الليفل 100 هنا الأساس من دي أو التقييم ده بيبين إن الطفل اللي معمول له التقييم ده هو في المرحلة دي 31% وبالنسبة للجزء ده هو 15% فقط من الطفل العادي وبالنسبة للجزء ده الفيربل كومبريانشن يعني الفهم اللفظي هنا ونفس الحكاية في آخر واحد There, that's actually right. Those are flipped, but yeah, so that looks like it. Um, so that, that's the two ways we kind of look at it. And as you're, as you're using these, you'll want to, um, like I say, if they've got a, a 30 or more, we go ahead and start introducing um, all the other modules too. It may just be one equivalence program. It's not robust, but, and we get them started with that. هنا زي ما قلنا وانس انت عديت 35 او 30 تقدر تستخدم الحاجات الثانيه لان طبعا الحاجات الثانيه اصعب من الـ من الدايركت موديل اللي هو الموديل المباشر فمحتاج برضو ان انت يبقى عندك اساس من الدايركت اوبجكتيفز قبل ما تبتدي تشتغل على الحاجات الثانيه الاكويفالنس والترانسفورميشن الاصعب فور ذا جنراليزيشن اولسو so, so we need to start, is it okay to start generalization with the direct model? Uh, and there is no requirement for having a specific score for the generalization before we start equivalence or transformation, right? Yeah, we, um, they need to have some direct trained skills or there won't be any generalization. So it kind of depends um, on that as well. You, if, if you had somebody with zero in direct, that's all they could do. You would need to start there. But as they start to gain some of those skills in the direct module, there are generalization skills that are tied to that. And so you could, you, you would add those in as soon as possible. And the goal is to get as much going as, po as soon as possible so they learn. Because generalization is similar in that it's got the train and test. And so once the kids start to build that repertoire, that's, and your staff start to learn how to read them. Let's see if I've got, I don't have one. But it's that same. One of the things we find that staff have a very difficult time doing is testing without correcting or providing feedback. And so the sooner you can get them engaging in any of the trained test mode, which is all three of the others, um, that's, that's better because then they can, you start to see um, whether things are showing up through generalization and then eventually through relations. يعني أنا كنت بسأل دكتور جوش هل في كريتيريا معينة أو سكور معين أو رقم معين المفروض إن الطفل يحققه في الـ generalization قبل ما نبتدي نستخدم بقية المودلز الثانية اللي هي الـ equivalence والـ transformation هو قال لا مش بالضروري بس لو ابتدينا إن إحنا وإحنا بنستخدم الـ direct assessment أو الـ direct model ولقينا الطفل مثلا السكور بتاعته زيرو خالص ومفيش أي direct assessment ومحتاجين إحنا نبتدي نشتغل عليها ونبتدي نشتغل على الـ generalization قبل ما نبتدي تو موف للثانيين الاثنين الثانيين وفي الجنراليزيشن برضه انت بتعتمد برضه على ان انت بتدرب وتختبر بتدرب وتختبر فمحتاجين ان الطفل يبقى عنده في الدايركت موديل عدد من المهارات عشان نقدر برضه يقدر ان هو يؤدي كويس في الجنراليزيشن موديل يبقى عنده ريبرتوار من الحاجات في الدايركت موديل Are there questions? I'm trying to think of other, I kind of gave the overview. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of value in diving into the details of each module. Uh, for this, I, I think it'd be too detailed. Um, are yeah. there other things you were thinking? Yeah, I think because it's a lot of information, especially the peak, the, the things for the transformation and equivalence. Oh, Dr. Josh, I asked you, do you want to go deep a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, ولا انتوا شايفين ان عندكم اسئله ثانيه مثلا في الحاجات اللي احنا اتكلمنا فيها بدل ما يدخل اعمق في الموضوع او في حاجه سؤال ثاني عايزين تسالوه
one thing I can say while we're waiting is um, we've done a lot of, we do kind of coaching when someone's work says, I want to try this. The best way is to get a kid in mind, run the assessment and then troubleshoot. Say, I'm, I, I picked these programs and then we've helped out with them. We say, that looks good. And then they go try it. Um, that's kind of the easiest way for people to kind of get their hands in it, trying it, and then getting feedback on, on how they're implementing. It, there's also a lot of tweaking needed. So you learning how to know what the purpose of the program is and making sure when you make changes, it doesn't change the purpose. Yeah. دكتور جوش بيقول يعني مهم قوي ان انت تبقى عارف البروجرام اللي انت بتشتغل عليه وايه الهدف اللي انت عايزه من البروجرام ده وان هو برده يعني ما تحاولش تغير برده فيه اي حاجه و يعني الموضوع كله بيبقى متكامل مع بعض يعني ااا اوكي اعتقد احنا جاوبنا السؤال ده وليد بس ليت مي ميك شور برضو ان احنا جاوبنا عليه احنا اي ثينك ان احنا جاوبنا بس اتاكد يا اي ثينك دكتور جوش وي انسر ذا كويستشن فور از ات از بيك ابروبريت فور لايك اذر ديفلوبمنتال ديسابيلتي نيورولوجيكال ديسابيلتي نوت اونلي فور اوتيزم اي ثينك وي انسر ذس رايت وليد احنا جاوبنا السؤال ده قلنا فعلا لا مش مرتبط باي دايجنوزز معينه او تشخيص معين انت اي طفل عندك او اي انسان عندك عنده نقص في مهارات معينه نقص في حاجات معينه انت تقدر تشتغل فيه سو اتس اتس اوكي فور اني بيرسون ذات هاز ديفيسيتس ان سكيلز رايت يا اوكي مرت ثانك يو سو ماتش يا مرت يو ار ويلكم باي يا Uh, for ages uh, بالنسبه للمراحل العمريه وليد هو لغايه سن 18 سنه it's up to 18 years old right yes um, the transformation probably goes beyond 18 but we kind of say it's up to 18 it gets into really the RFT stuff can get into really complex things that maybe we don't all have as a part of our skill set so if you start age norming that it might go beyond 18 but we kind of talk about just up to 18 Um, بالنسبه يعني مش عايزين نقول ان هو لغايه سن 18 سنه بالظبط لان في موديل منهم اسمه ترانسفورميشن ده ممكن يعدي سن 18 سنه كمان لانه يعني في حاجات متطوره جدا. Do you see that this presentation is enough to use this program or we need special training? Uh, of course we need special training. <laughs> what's uh, what's Alam's uh, background? Um, you mean Alam? اها يا اهلام اهلام انت ممكن تقول لنا دراستك ايه سبيسيفيكلي ايه يا بي اتش دي ان ايه اهلام Maybe what experience with like discrete child training and behavior analysis. Yeah, we are into. After job like a, for example, like, you work in the experiments, the ones that you try, you try to work in the slope, in the speech, in the behavior. Which any goes a. Okay, Mariam, it's how I'm. Not from year three years. I think, Doctor Josh, it's not starting from three years, right? It's we can start like maybe less than that using the peak, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mariam, it's not necessary to stay until you're about three years. You can start working on it before that. You can start working on it for two years or a year or so. Because it's already, as we said, the direct model. There are a lot of things. You'll see the first thing. Look at me. I think. Silly. Like that. You know the things that are. ممكن نقدر نشتغل مع عليها مع الطفل في سن اقل من ثلاث سنين اوكي okay. احلام هي ابشيز تشايلد سايكولوجي بي اتش دي ان تشايلد سايكولوجي اوكي سو اي ام ذا نسيم اولموست نو اكسبيرينس ان وذ دي تي تي اور بيهيفير اناليسيس اند اي انسر بيسد اون ذات اي ثينك تريننج ويل بي هيلبفول اي ثينك ذات اف يو هاف ذا موديولز ذا بوكس يو كان بروبابلي دو ذس ماي ريكومنديشن از اف يو كانت جو تو ا تريننج Um, you you reach out to like 
we've done it where we'll coach people. So let's say um, I wanted to implement this with a child, we would we could set up like, all right, let's run an assessment, video yourself doing that, and we can make sure that you're not missing components. It's fairly straightforward, so I don't think that it's super difficult, um, but you can you can get a little bit off in, in your development of the protocols. So it's nice to have somebody that's had some experience that can look at it and say, oh, try it this way, as well as somebody when you run into like roadblocks, it's not working. Um, so I, if you have a mentor that could help you, you might not need um, the training, especially if it's not available, because uh, I know that that's been a limitation. Um, I don't know that I'd recommend people just do it without uh, this gives you sort of an overview today what i did i would be surprised if somebody was skilled based on what i said today because uh, we didn't really go much at that uh dr josh be all your name and come on how it's mohamma awi and the insane yahoo training we got up with alam kwais uh well i can nazar and in bordu el tadribet with i can pick mish mudeha diamond well i ain't you have an entity to allow me kwais together uh hey could up وابتدي برضو اعملي تدريب وابتدي تدربي نفسك وابتدي صوري نفسك وكمان لو كويس لو يكون في حد عنده خلفية وعنده خبرة في البيك ومعاكي في نفس المكان فيقدر ان هو يوجهك ويفهمك تقدري ازاي تتعاملي مع حاجة زي كده يكون افضل بس بس الفكرة برضو ان وكمان بيقول ان الوقت اللي احنا قعدناه مع بعض ده طبعا يعني غير كافي ان حد يبقى متمرس جدا وفاهم حاجات كتيرة جدا جدا في البيك ويقدر ان هو يروح يطبع على طول فطبعا لو وجود تدريب كويس هيفيد كتير قوي في حاجة زي كده You're welcome يا أحلام على ايه بيستخدم التقييم ومنهج تدريبي وهل يوجد فيه جزء للتأهيل المهني وليد احنا جاوبنا على الجزء ده I think ال يا بيستخدم هو اصلا تقييم يا وليد وغير ان هو اصلا تقييم انت بتقدر تاخد بعد كده منه اهداف معينه عشان تقدر تشتغل عليها كمنهج اوكي بالنسبه بقى للجزء اي ثينك ذس كويستشن اباوت فوكيشنال تريننج اند مور يا ذس بارت سو ذا بيك دوز نوت هاف ذس كومبوننت رايت يا نو وليد البيك لا ما فيهوش الجزء اللي ليه علاقة بالحاجات المهنية وكده. Uh, I think the one is more matching with his question is the AFLS right? The AFLS, the EFL has some stuff like that. Both of those are if you're looking for curriculum. I believe Mark's coming out with a, a curriculum for this kind of thing sometime in the near future. I don't know when, but. We use, if we, um, so if we have a consumer that our target is not building language and, and cognition, um, maybe they haven't progressed uh, sufficiently and we want to start teaching them life skills, we tend to use the EFL. Yeah. Um, uh, excuse me, sorry. So you're saying that if you have a, a like a, a client, it's not um, doing very well with the language and cognitive stuff, we focus on the life skills. Yes, and we and we our curriculum that we tend to use is the EFLS um, by McGreevy, um, and I I have not used Partington's AFLS. I'm assuming it would be good too. I, I just haven't yeah. done much with it, so I don't know much about that. How about me? I mean, Doctor Josh, we all okay. Maybe we can use the AFLS, but he he himself I mean, used it not a lot, or he didn't. I mean, he didn't work with it a lot. Uh, وبيقول ان هو ممكن دكتور مارك سانبرج سوري دكتور مارك ديكسون في المستقبل يعمل حاجه مخصوصه للفوكيشنال والحاجات المهارات الحياتيه اللي احنا بنبقى محتاجينها للاولاد وبيقول كمان ان الجزء ده اللي انت ممكن ان انت تبتدي تشتغل عليه مع الاولاد خصوصا لما يكون الاولاد مش قادرين ماشيين كويس في اللغه مش قادرين يمشوا كويس في الجزء الادراكي والكوجنيتيف وكده فالاحسن ان احنا دايما بنركز عليهم على المهارات الحياتيه الحياتيه اكتر من اللغه والحاجات اللي هي معقده اكتر وتطوريه اكتر في اللغه بالظبط يوسف اه هو ده اكزاكتلي بالظبط Thank you. Yeah. Dr. Josh had a link to the 
للبروجرام للاسسمنت دي لو حد عاوز يعرفها او تكوبيت عشان نشوفها فين و essential for living برضو دي حاجة تانية يعني في حاجتين بوت الاثنين دول ال AFLS و essential for living الاثنين دول بيركزوا على المهارات الحياتية so uh, uh, ممكن اللينك yeah. تاني اه اوكي okay. uh, شايفاه نهلا لا you cannot see it uh, في الشات فتح الشات خلاص عشان ما ضيعش وقت ممكن تبقي تبقى تديهولنا اوكي شكرا يا نار دكتور جوش كان يو تيل اس لايك سمثينج بيفور وي فينيش بريفلي كده وات اباوت بيك ليفل 2 اند ليفل 3 وات اتس اباوت ذا سيرتيفيكيشن اي دونت ريلي نو ام نوت انفولد ان ذات سو اي فروم وات اي gather just reading what i've seen it looks to me like they're set the peak level one was more informational peak level two maybe requires some demonstration of running peak um and i don't i think level three means that you um are trained you're able to then train the other levels is my understanding of, of their program but i i actually don't do I, i'm not part of that so i don't i don't know exactly um i just think I'm excited about Peak and I want to disseminate it. So we do a lot of training. We've been doing it since 2014 now, rolling it out. So we've got a lot of experience that we've discovered that practitioners often have questions that we've encountered. And so we, we've helped a lot of folks just kind of start, especially before there was the workshop training, we were doing a lot. Once they started, we kind of faded ours out. We, we, uh, they do most of, of that. But we still help out people if they want to convert over or if they want to mentor or coach. Um, we can have a team that is very familiar now with people. Yeah. You know what? We found, you're going to find one thing. You'll find errors occasionally, and that's okay. And you yeah. note it. As long as you understand the purpose, you should be able to tweak it. You know, uh, one of the things that makes me like I want, I'm thinking about peak. Uh, it's it was your comment on one of the posts in one of the Facebook uh, ABA groups. Like somebody asked you, and then I I cannot always like um, forget your statement when you said uh, peak is the future. So I like oh. this statement so much, and I I thought that wow, it seems that it's something like it's gonna be make uh, a, a huge change in people's life. You know. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, أنا كنت بسأل دكتور جوش على ال levels الثانية level two level three هو قال هو يعني هو يعني mainly focus على ال level one وال بس level two هو أكتر إن أنت إزاي بتقدر تعمل كلمة demonstration يعني أنت إزاي بتقدر تشتغل وبت وبت بتوري شغلك يعني و level ثلاثة أكتر إن أنت إزاي تقدر تدرب الناس بس هو حابب قوي البيك وشايف ان هو حتى انا بقول له في جمله انا كنت مره قريتها له ان هو قال البيك ده هو المستقبل فانا لان هو حتى كمان كل ان هو في حاجات واهداف وتقييمات ومناهج لغايه سن اكتر من 18 سنه ده بيخلينا نقول ان دي حاجه ممكن احنا حتى نستخدمها حتى لوحدها بعد كده ان ذا فيوتشر ده رايي طبعا انا الشخصي يعني بس كده Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and it was very, very valuable and informative. And we are very happy having you with us today. Cool, it was glad, a lot of fun. If anybody has questions, there, feel free to email me. Um, I'll put that's an email address. I'd be happy to try to help um, problem solve or find out ways to. Like I say, I like to get evidence based practice. Um, Especially the Arabic world I, has a special place in my heart. So I'm like, oh, I'd like to see this growing there. So anything I can do to help you, let me know. Thank you so much. Dr. Josh, thank you very much. And I'll put the email to you if anyone has any questions. And he loves it very much. 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 ولو حد عنده اي سؤال في اي حاجه حتى من الكلام اللي احنا اتناقشنا فيه او اني كويشنز هو بيطلب منكم ان انتم تبعتوا له يور يور ويلكم يا جماعه على ايه يا جماعه شكرا انا اتمنى ان انتم تكونوا اتبسطتوا انا شخصيا اتبسطت جدا ان احنا اتعلمنا حاجات جديده كلنا
for bringing that. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a nice evening. All right, you too. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.